about the whole Houston Astros situation. Like I said, for those not aware, it was recently uh, rev this pretty much uh, deduced that the Houston Astros, who've won two Nash American two American League pins, the American League club now, they used to originally native in the National League, and sometimes my brain forgets forgets that. They've won two American League pennants in the last, and one World Series in the last three years. And it was recently, this past offseason, after they lost the World Series to the Washington Nationals, congrats again, Duke, on that, revealed that apparently during this run, the team had been operating this massive sign-stealing system. Stuff like using cameras and banging on trash cans. There have been accusations about them using buzzer systems, which Major League Baseball didn't find any definitive proof of. It cost them at least, like, the team's manager was let go and suspended from baseball for a year. I think they let go of the general manager as well. And of course... Living here in North Texas, and being a fan of the Texas Rangers, a lot of people in this area have just more or less been dogpiling them more than anything. Now, I want to make this clear, that I am not any type of advocate for cheating in any way, shape, or form. But still, there are three things that just kind of get me as to how sanctimonious and trying to play the morality card a number of baseball fans are doing now. The first is the fact that, one, it seems like the Houston Astros are getting the most flack for this system when it was all just at the same time revealed that the Boston Red Sox were just as guilty of running their own systems. You might not recall, for those not aware, the Red Sox beat the Astros for the American League pennant in 2018 and went on to win the World Series that year. They seem to be not getting as much flack for that, which only seems to increase, I would say, the accusations of East Coast bias that the, that the national sports media has. The second problem I have is this. Again, I'm not an advocate of cheating, but I am also not so naive as to not realize that the game of baseball has been one of the most dishonest sports in the world for its entirety. Everyone wants to talk about how this sign stealing system, people are saying it's worse than players doing steroids over the past 20 and 30 years. I've only got one thing to say about that. The 1951 New York Giants. One of the most memorable baseball clubs in the game's history. For those not aware, this was a team that came back from being, I think, 14 games behind for the National League pennant. And this was back in a time where the only way you won the pennant was finishing first overall in the entire league. There were no divisions. There were no league playoffs. To get to the World Series, you had to finish with the best record in the American or National League. The Giants in 51, like I said, they were like 14 games back in August. Came all the way back to force a best-of-three playoff with their hated rivals, the Brooklyn Dodgers, and ended up winning that playoff in the final game in the bottom of the ninth when Bobby Thompson hit a game-winning home run off Ralph Branca to win it. There was even an ESPN Classic special on this that revealed that the Giants had been employing a sign-stealing scandal with a telescope and buzzers and whatnot throughout their run. And yet still people look on that, that team with such historical fondness. And to me, that just, that, that, that just overstates, again, 
how much baseball is willing to people who are people who watch baseball and study baseball they are way too obsessed with romanticizing the past while condemning anything that comes on in the present again the 51 giants um Gaylord Perry and uh what's his name Whitey Ford two pitchers who were notorious for doctoring and rubbing and scuffing and spitting on the baseball. They were deliberate cheaters. They're in the Hall of Fame, despite that. So again, I think there's some uh, the hypocrisy in trying to automatically just condemn these teams right now in the present day for cheating. But this is what gets me more than anything else. If you want to blame anybody, for any type of cheating going on in any sport, not just baseball, blame us. Blame the fans, blame the media, blame anybody who puts the pressure on these athletes and on these players to do whatever it takes to win. People can be sanctimonious right now about these, these cheating scandals, but this is the truth they don't want to hear. Our sports society will always have more respect for a dishonest winner over an honest loser. There are too many people, even in my, among my Texas Rangers fan base, I will call them out, no problem with this. People who are making fun of the Astros and condemning the Astros for cheating now. These are among the same people who condemned and threatened players like Nelson Cruz for not getting the Rangers a World Series championship that the fans could claim for their own. We live vicariously through these athletes way too damn much. And I am saying this, I am as guilty of this as anybody. I spent 25 years of my life tying too much of it into sports teams thinking that their success somehow made my life better. And I know I wasn't alone there. Now, I'm not just alone there in Dallas Fort Worth fans. There are way too many sports fans who have that idea, period. And as long as us, as fans and media members and anyone who follows sports, continue to demand winning at all costs, you're going to see winning at all costs. You're going to see cheating. And you have to take responsibility of it more than anything else.